Welcome to the latest video of the series How to Paint Your Dark Souls Miniature. Today we'll cover the steps to paint the Plow Scarecrow from the Dark Root expansion. If you like this tutorial, you'll find much more Dark Souls content, other board game unboxing, how to play videos and reviews on this channel. So if you're new, welcome and consider subscribing to always receive the latest updates. As we start our painting guide, I'll be using the Dark Souls Trilogy Compendium for the colors reference. Only that this time, the enemy is not in the compendium. So I had to turn to the in-game screenshots as a reference for the Scarecrows. The Scarecrows vent is basically a dirty cloth, its body is made of wood, covered by some natural foliage, and it carries a bloody weapon with a wood base and some rusty metal. To start this project, you need Karak's White, Lead Belcher, Mornfang Brown, Mephstone Red, Catacomb Flesh, Abaddon Black, Seraphine Sepia, Agrox Earthshade, Niblet Green, Gold Fag Brown, Wag Flesh, Black Primer. Speaking of Black Primer, that will be our first step. I detail the process of repairing the miniatures in another video, so don't forget to check it out before we start painting. We will start by painting the wood base with catacomb flesh. The pants base is done with Karak's white and the metal of the weapon with lead belcher. Once it's dry, we will apply a dry layer of Gogfag brown over the whole model except the metal parts. You can also add blood on the weapon by mixing Mastone red with Abaddon black. The next step is painting the base of the foliage with wag flesh. Dilute some Mornfang brown to layer some dirt at the bottom of the pants. Once the layer is dry, apply seraphine sepia on the pants to reach its final color. Dry brush niblet green over the parts with the wag flesh to bring some light to the foliage. Wash the model with Agrax Earthshade except pants and metal to add some shadows. Finish the base of the miniature with Abaddon Black. If you prefer, also apply a matte finish to the model. And this is the final result! I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and see you next time!